said, you know, the gospel has a label. Matthew, in fact, when he says gospel of, he always says gospel of the kingdom. That's fascinating. Mark says God's gospel. Paul says God's gospel. In fact, there are eight occurrences of the phrase God's gospel. There's only one God's gospel. It's the gospel about the kingdom. So in your vocabulary, when you talk about gospel, you must always say the gospel of the kingdom. Isn't that good brand name selling? I mean, anybody will tell you, you want to use the language you want out there. Use it all the time. Gospel of the kingdom. This well-known, the gospel we all recognize about the kingdom. Why kingdom? Because Jesus is reversing what Adam did, you see. Adam throws away his kingship by being lied to by the devil. Jesus comes along and says, let's reverse all that. So we'll call it the good news about the kingdom. That's the restoration of kingship to mankind. The destiny that was lost in Adam is now to be recovered in the second Adam. That's the story that I didn't get in church. Now, I'm not blaming the clergy. I mean, they're, they're, God is their judge, not me. But why didn't I know that? We were sent to the, quote, best schools, whatever that meant. Did we know any of the story? No, I'm not lying to you. I was there. Something went wrong. So I've had this hunch now for 40 years that the gospel is not being defined properly. And what if God is not being defined properly and Jesus isn't being defined properly and the gospel is not being defined properly? We're in a mess, are we not? So who's going to redeem this awful situation? It is those who have this knowledge and understanding of the truth. While we're in Daniel 12, it says, uh, if you read verse 3, how would you be like, like to be like the stars? You look in the sky and you see these stars. What analogy is God using there? You'll be like the stars shining in the firmament. You won't be in the firmament. You'll be on the earth with Jesus ruling. But you'll be like the stars. So Hollywood, forget it. What they do for stars is a very sad uh, parody of what God does for stars. God's stars are the people who turn many to righteousness. And that verse needs to be paralleled in your margin with Isaiah 53, 11. He is a suffering servant. Prophecy of Jesus. He will see the results of his labors going to that tortured death and suffering so much that we could have this truth. He'll see the results of his labors in terms of these people shining like the sun and its strength by his knowledge, Isaiah 53, 11. It doesn't say just by his death. Of course we know his death and resurrection are absolutely critical. But by his knowledge. So what does the NIV do with that one? I don't like that. That sounds too intellectual. So they say by the knowledge of him. No, 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 no. Not by getting to know Jesus. That's all right too, but it's not what it says. It's by Messiah's knowledge that he makes many righteous. Because my people are destroyed, Hosea says. My people are destroyed. Your friends next door to you, your neighbors are being destroyed because of their lack of knowledge. Not the lack of sincerity. People are very genuine and sincere, mostly. Most people don't get up in the morning, much less clergy, do they get up on a Sunday morning. I will lie to these people deliberately. They don't. But they've been careless enough not to study the facts and to ask the questions.